That's all everybody's talking about. You've got cabbage? Dude, let's buy a fucking cabbage. Right fucking now. Where's this? Premium melon? Holy shit. All right, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, So whenever I started up the game, there was a cutscene playing. I don't know if that was like the intro cutscene. It seems like it was. It seems like we're being thrown right into the game. So for that reason, I'm going to hit the restart button real quick. I don't know why, like, so many games do that. <laughs> like, look, it's fine whenever, I guess, you're just playing a game on your own or whatever. It sucks whenever you're streaming a game for it to just, like, <laughs> just pop up instantly with, hey, here's the story of the game. Hope you're paying attention. If not, get fucked. <laughs> Speaking of the Disney game in the background, that wasn't a Disney game, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I pre-installed, I think it became available to play today. Speaking of the Disney game and background video, I pre-installed, I think it became available to play today. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Nate. <laughs> I have no clue at all. Disney game and background video. That was Metropolis, Ma Metropolis Mania, uh, made by Natsume. It, was, it wasn't Disney. I'm very confused. The Dream Valley game is supposed to be Stardew, like, oh. What? <laughs> How did that come up? I know precisely who you mean. Although it's been a hundred years since last I dreaded their escape. They are two monsters, Goral the Slard Lord and a Gith Yankee general named Sireka. They clashed across planes of reality each plotting an invasion of our world, each all that stood in one another's way. I came across the pair in Rawlins Wood, and knew if either one of them prevailed, their army would lay waste to all Faerun. And so I trapped them in a demon stone where they would fight for all eternity. Now you bring me word they've broken free and villagers lay ruined in their wake. They must be stopped if we are not too late. Hey, okay. So yeah, this is an official D&D &D licensed project. Or game, I guess, not project. Um, I had no idea when I picked it up. It was actually Nate noticed it that it was, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I somehow completely missed that. I know basically nothing about D and D lore. I do play D and D, but it's like ninety percent homebrew stuff, not you know official campaign adventures, anything like that. So. We got the voices of Patrick Stewart and Michael Clark Duncan, though. Let's go, dude. I don't know. All I knew when I picked up the game was Case looks cool. I hope the game's fun. That's... <laughs> and I mean, I still hope the game's fun, but we'll see. I know it's a uh, pretty hit or miss with D&D &D games sometimes, you know? Some of them are really good. Some of them are trash. I'm assuming that's us, the character we're going to play as. Before we do anything, though, options. Yes, subtitles on. Those are all the options we got. Okay, skills. What do we got? Okay, so these are like our our attacks, the, the combos. I was thinking it was going to be like a skill menu, you know, like what you would have in D&D. &D, but no. So I don't know, like, if we're going to... I don't know if it's just the set in the, the, the Forgotten Realms, you know, the D&D the &D official lore, or if it's actually based on the D&D &D rule set at all. I'm assuming not, since it says, Cinematic Saga features exceptional pick-up-and-play combat from one-on-one -on -one fighting to colossal melee attacks. So, I'm thinking this is going to be in no way D&D related combat-wise. 
Okay, so that's that's block. Square's block. X is attack. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Um, X, X, X. Torn strike. Circle. Unarmed strike. Coup de gras. Basic attack. Advanced attack. Armed attack. Block. Throw axes. Okay. Um, so it seems like X and circle are our main attack buttons. Can I, like... Can I dodge? Can I get the hell out of here? I think this one is more lore wise. Oh no, me too. 100% me too. Okay, so we're supposed to be freeing these people. How do we, how do we go about that? Do I just like, do I hit it? No, I'm assuming that we're gonna have to just kill these people. Okay, so circle seems like unarmed strike stuff, right? We're, we're hitting people with our fists. Whereas, X seems like the, the, the sword play stuff. Baldur's Gate uses a rule set, if you remember. Yeah, I'm not positive which rule set, but it definitely does use a D&D rule set. I say definitely. I don't actually know that for 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. And uh, 3.5 sounds about right for, you know, that time frame and whatnot. Uh, we also don't seem to have... like an inventory menu or anything okay up makes us glow for some reason i'm not sure what that's about it is a fixed camera angle we don't have any control over the camera can we break shit we can i wonder if there's stuff in the stuff can we find like a healing pot or anything never mind we can't break that that is that is a no-go okay what does up do now? Nothing? I thought maybe that was like a targeting button or something like that. It would seem that was wrong. Why are the little green orcs fighting the, the big brown furry orcs? Like, <laughs> we got smooth skins and we got the hairy ones. And they seem to be fighting each other and I'm just here murdering all of them. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be murdering all of them or not. But I am. And so far, it seems to be going okay. Very early impressions. Looks okay. <laughs> Needs a lock-on system. All, all combat games uh, need a lock-on system, man. A way for you to pick a target and just keep beating the shit out of that one in, in particular. The way they twist around sometimes whenever they die almost gives the impression that they're like being cut in half or something but they're very clearly not it's giving me lord of the rings vibes i think just because of the you know the ruined cities the fires all over the place uh i mean not so much the dragons but <laughs> the massive amount of people in the raid or whatever it's giving me, it's definitely giving me some Lord of the Rings vibes right now. Speaking of, has anyone, oh yeah, I think y'all are dead. <laughs> has anyone watched the Lord of the Rings, uh, Rings of Power yet? Noodle and I have watched the first episode. We haven't gotten around to watching the second one yet. We ran out of time last night after, uh, after watching the, the third episode, correct me if I'm wrong, Noodle, but I think it was the third episode of the Game of Thrones spinoff that we are watching. Is there, I really hope there's a way to heal or that we're supposed to die here because <laughs> holy fuck, dude, our health is so low. Should we worry about killing all these people or should we just get the hell out of Dodge, you know? You've not, you've also never read or watched anything Lord. I know, which just surprises the hell out of me, especially because we owned the Lord of the Rings movies on, I believe it was on VHS back in the day, man. We used to watch the hell out of those things. I don't know how you never watched any of them. Um, from what I've seen so far, if you wanted to, to start with Rings of Power on Amazon Prime, you could, but there's, there's definitely some references um, what? that that you wouldn't Don't really catch if you didn't help. watch the original they trilogy. Did. Wood elves, they're weak. Wait, are we playing as her now? Uh, okay. I'm assuming she plays the same though. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. Her, her throwing knives or whatever seem weak as shit, though. She's a rogue. Throw knives. Rogue unarmed attack. Evade. Advanced attack. Okay, so she has the same... The same Doing move list, though. I hope it's not one of those games where all of the characters end up playing exactly the same. Oh, are we... Okay, so the, the glimmer on the ground gives us sneak attack, I'm assuming. Because, like, we're, we're all, like, invisible-esque there for a moment. So can I get, like, a crit? Let's go, dude! <laughs> Ow. So wait, how does that... <laughs> how does that work, though? Because they should, like, be able to see me right here, no problem. In all honesty, you know? But hey, whatever. I'm not gonna say no to a free crit. I'm hoping there's, like, equipment and shit that we unlock, and it's not just this for the entire game. Not gonna lie, there's a, there's a part of me that's a little bit disappointed it's not a Baldur's Gate-like game. God damn it. Fireballs everywhere! I need a little bit of a, a notice before I get fireballed in the face. Game, please. Oh god. Oh god. Rogue not meant for one-on-one -on -one combat. Well, three-on-one, really. What was block again? Was it square? Yes. Okay. Oh! <laughs> uh, my bad, guys. I, I hope <laughs> we didn't have any good guys over there. I didn't mean to loose the fucking... <laughs> I almost said cannon. What, what's this? Is this catapult thing. Whatever they're called. Trebuchet? Is it a trebuchet? What exactly is the difference between a trebuchet and a catapult? I'm sure there is one, but I don't know it off the top of my head. It's so weird not having a... Uh like an inventory screen or anything even. At least not yet, who knows, it may change later. Now Optijack, I know you haven't watched Lord of the Rings yet, but have you started watching the, the Game of Thrones spinoff yet? Have you given that one a chance at least? Because I know you watched uh, Game of Thrones, right? All of that, I'm pretty sure. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you did. Can't see me. Have not, but you definitely want to. It's pretty good too so far. Um, honestly, the only problem so far I have with both shows is that they're a bit too slow getting started. I have the same problem with uh, Lord of the Rings. Now they release two episodes right at the beginning, and then like they're releasing one a week from from now on until it's done. Um. So I, I imagine that like maybe in episode two or something is when shit really starts to pick up, but it does seem really slow to start. And uh, Game of Thrones spinoff is feeling the same way. I just hope that they don't end up rushing the hell out of it like they did. Stop rescuing me. Game of Thrones. Out there, I had somewhere to run. I'd rather you know them take their time. The Take a nice slow pace then to, to rush it and it'd be terrible. This is our mage, okay. You up there! You with a stick! Over here! We're pinned you down. with the stick. We need your help. Kill the archers! Uh okay. I don't <laughs> How do I not have like any ranged magic? Okay, so he blocks with a shield. That makes sense. Oh my 
god, range is so weak, dude. It would also be very helpful if I could turn the camera. Oh. No, okay, I didn't turn the camera. I just did that on its own. Great. I mean, look, the way I'm looking at it in D&D, your magic users generally don't run up to the front line. <laughs> so I feel like this dude should be staying back, doing as much range as possible. It also seems like he either has infinite ammo <laughs> or or this is a cantrip-based spell. Anyone who doesn't play D&D, I'm sorry. <laughs> cantrips, at least in 5th edition, I have no idea what it would have been like back when this game came out. I'm assuming 3.5. Um, but I don't know that rule set. Anyways, cantrips are like free spells, basically. You can do those as, as much as you want um, without expending spell slots or, or anything like that. I kind of wish, I'm not going to lie, this, this is probably sacrilege, but ever since I've started playing 5e and, and started playing spellcasters every once in a while in, in, in 5e, I kind of wish that they would use a mana system instead of the spell slot system. I just feel like it would be a lot easier to track what the hell Sorcerer, you can and can't do at any one time. Sorcerer, your help. And uh, be a lot cleaner layout. But with that said, um, I don't know how well that would work with character sheet. I, I play, you know, digitally with D&D Beyond and shit. You don't think it was? Yeah, no, I don't think it was HBO's decision either. Off the Jack, you're right on that. I, I'm pretty sure. Cause I'm sure if it was up to HBO, they would have milked game of thrones as long as they possibly could have you know i don't i don't think they would have had a single problem running that show into the ground but for some reason yeah the the showrunners seemed like they were they were done with it are either of you hurt not yet in here and get trapped again have no choice. Now go. Wait, am I right in, in my understanding that these guys didn't know each other before today? So are they just like trusting each other because they're all human? Well, not human. Humanoid, I guess. They're not orcs and shit. So kills 52, 26, 26. That's odd. Uh, anyways, just because 26 doubled is 52, so you have 52, 26, 26, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. That's weird. Team experience, 14, 56 out of 2,000. What? How do we lose experience? Team gold, 10,400 out of 20,000? That much gold? How the hell did we get so much gold, man? Uh, okay, we can actually pick our difficulty now. I guess we'll go with normal. Here's where we get our stats and shit. Okay. So we have Rannick. Mm, is that M? I? Elias? I? L? L? I don't know what the hell that says. And Jai? Look. They had stuff set up to go work with Disney, and I think they got antsy to work on that and ended up falling through anyways. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't really care what their reasoning was. It was stupid. <laughs> Current items. Banded armor. Base stats. Okay, wait. Level upgrades. Auto buy. Wait, can I not buy my own stuff? Or. Armor and. Why is this. How's this auto buy if we get to pick what we're buying? I am very confused by this game. Level upgrades. Moment attack, moment strike, basic attack, all this shut. A smash attack greatly damages objects, but is less effective against enemies. Meh. Okay, how do we actually spend our points? Oh, okay, so we just buy... Okay, 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 I see. Three hit that trips enemy. Oh god, it's different combos. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna remember all these combos, man. Oh, okay. Sword focus sounds good. Now, okay, we're going to go ahead and buy that. But then we're going to go to someone else. Okay, yeah, they, they still have 1,456. Good. So it's it's split three ways or whatever. 
Uh, we don't use the axe much with him, at least not right now. Power attack improved critical. Three hit combo that focuses on delivering damage. So it's funny, like a lot of these are skills from D&D or moves from D&D. Um, but obviously the way they turned it into a, like an action game, it's a little weird. So it just gives us a different combo. Three hit combo that focuses on delivering damage. X circle R1. I mean, I guess we'll buy it and hope for the best. Power attack sounds pretty decent too. Although toughness. Let's go with toughness. Why not? Get the extra health on him. A uh, person whose name I don't know how to say. That kind of looks like an M. M L I U S? Milius? Midli? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Explodes and greatly damages objects. Press again. Press once to drop and again to detonate. Sounds kind of neat. Pretty trip. Rush flame arrow. Bolt of fire requires magic missile. Yes, please. Acid arrow. Wait, what? How do we switch between... How do we switch between things? Adds fire to the sorcerer's hand attack and lights enemies on fire. Very nice. Holds enemies in place for a short period of time. Protection from evil. Helps reduce damage against all of the heroes. Yes. Um, burning hands? Sure. I mean, I don't want you to get that close most of the time, but whatever. Flurry of throwing knives that stuns enemies when they hit. Strike, attack in midair. And then just the ability to jump. Jump over attacks and onto ledges to find secret areas. I mean, we're gonna... Oh, we need an item? Where does it say that at? <laughs> Well, that seems like some bullshit. Toughness, improved critical. Uh, we'll go ahead and get improved critical. Then I guess just toughness and then save the rest of your points. Sure. Whatever. Okay, now item upgrades. Okay, that costs gold. Is that shared between everyone, though? do I switch to ring of regen that sounds really nice but holy shit is it expensive didn't you see ring of protection I mean just getting a plus one sword wouldn't be bad for now flaming weapon she's the sword and light flame. so wait a second if we upgrade can we stack I wonder like if we get plus one and then we get flaming weapon does it work that way? Let's go ahead and grab the plus one on our weapon and then, okay, money is separate too. And then let's just try it out, I guess. We want flame or frost? Uh, we're gonna go frost. Yes. I have no idea if that's stacked. <laughs> I just don't know, man. Banded armor, half plate armor, regular plate armor, mithril plate. Uh, let's go with half plate and then a plus one. And then a ring of protection. That's not what I meant to click on. Yes. And then I want to try maybe with one of the other characters, whatever this auto buy is. Magical pearl that adds Mao damage. Bracers of armor, staff plus one, sonic impact. Magically for robe of protection. I'm sure you want to buy all the items and all the skills listed for all the characters. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's just buying all of this junk, everything listed. 
I see what you're doing, game. Uh, sure. So that means everyone else is probably broke now. Yes. Okay, can we kit them out with the shit that we gave them? No. <laughs> okay, excellent. I guess we just gotta go into the game and see what happens, man. There's gonna have to be like a inventory screen or, or something. Yeah, of course. We'll see. Slot one, game one, I'm sure. Thank you. Okay, it... Oh my god, it's so slow. Yes. Yes. It's like eating inputs. It's lagging so bad on that one particular screen for some reason. Chapter 2. Descent into Gem Spark Mine. Chapter 2. Sure. Oh. Descent into Gem Spark Mine. I like this game, man. It does the narrating for me. I don't need to do it. <laughs> So you have health for all three people. When the hero meter fills up, you get a super attack. When they all fill up, they all they get a team super. And then that's whatever ammo they have. Okay. I think I can handle that. So far, so good. I kind of sort of know what's going mine. on. I heard of it as a child. Enough riches to make us all kings. There could be orcs around that bend. Can you really think of riches? I'm half drow. The drow. A race of murderers and thieves. <laughs> well, you Rude. won't see me playing hero. And I don't know why you feel the need. I'm from a town called Nesme. Of course. It was overrun by trolls. I was in that fight. But I was knocked out early. When I awoke, almost everyone I knew had been killed. Explains the death wish. Switch characters with left button. Oh, okay. The name's Rennick. I got Thieves. it, okay. So what's Indian. down do? Anything? Business. Do we have an inventory screen yet? No. Okay, maybe that's something that'll unlock soon. I'm so confused on like, like for instance, how do we switch the, the spells for what's his name? Press and hold the button to block. Okay, so are we gonna get significantly less gold now that we're out of that tutorial area, the beginning area? Cause like I see gold is actually dropping for us to pick up now where it wasn't before. So I'm thinking maybe it just gave us a big bonus of stuff in the beginning to get us, you know, set up with, with some gear before we before we got started. We must defend ourselves. First triangle to use super attack. Let's go. <laughs> I love just backhanding people with our hand, dude. That's the best attack we have. Now, when we're... Okay, yeah, he sh shifts the sword behind him. I was wondering if we'd be able to guard our back or if we have to be facing the enemy to, to effectively guard. No, it seems like guard just guards in general. Front, back, whatever, doesn't matter. It's not exactly a, a precise fighting game. It's kind of just... Just mash X so far? Is that a... Pyramid shark? Oh. Does that just like instantly give us a, a charge or whatever? Okay, he picked that one up. I want to get it on all three so that we can see what the, the team super or whatever the hell it's called looks like. that dude, the R1. Nothing, it seems like. Pressing X to attack feels weird. I keep wanting to press square. Maybe it's just from playing, like, uh, God of War or something. Okay, so we got two of them filled up. Now we just gotta get 
our man here. It's freaking glimmering spiders, dude. Actually, they look really cool. These gem spider things. I kind of like them. Can we keep one as a pet, maybe? I would like to be its friend if that's an option. That's a long way down. Yeah, don't fall, dude. Press hold L1 button and then tap X for a ranged attack. You take the archers. I know how to block game. I'm just trying to kill the archer if you don't mind. Can I switch targets? No. It seems like it auto picks for you who to attack. Which I mean is okay, I, I guess. It would be nice if I could lock on to a specific. Oh! Okay, well. <laughs> that's our team super. Use it at maybe the worst time possible. I really wasn't trying to use it then, but I, I guess that works. Turns out clicking R3 also gives you the, uh, the super attack, or also does the super attack. Use a charged up range attack to destroy change on the bridge. I didn't even know you could charge your ranged attacks. Very cool. Okay, so he shoots out like three magic missiles or whatever. It seems like uh, every, or whoever you're using charges up their hero meter more quickly. So I'm assuming it's based off of how much damage they do. That would make some level of sense. Oh, bro, let's go. Uh, you, you, and you. Probably not the best time to use it, but... So is everyone just dead? Yes, yes they are. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, turns out super attacks, pretty good, pretty good. Can you charge your throwing knives? Can't. Sadly, I didn't get to see what the hell it actually did. So would that be like the equivalent of casting at a higher level or something? The the charge attack? Oh my god. Die. You know it'll take care of this real quick? A team super. What does the arrowhead do? I'm assuming like bonus melee damage for, for a period of time. I mean, it glows red. It looks it looks pointy. <laughs> I don't know what else it would do. What's your R1? You shove the sword in the ground. What is the point of that? Lewis health. Okay. Is that just to like irritate people? Does it pull aggro or something? I don't imagine they would have put it in the game if it literally Stop. does nothing. Uh, well, GG, we're dead. <laughs> At least now I can hear myself think. We can hide in the glen. Yep. While hidden enemies can't see. Yep. And... Backstab. Quickly becomes visible when not hiding. That makes sense. Get behind an enemy and press the X button to execute sneak attack. Oh, damn it. You turned around like at the worst time, dude. Automatically loots enemies she sneaks attack. Wait, do you not... Do you not get loot from enemies normally? Or... Does that just mean like the gold won't drop on the ground? She just automatically picks it up. I don't know.
Hey guys. What you doing in we that might cage have been over there? Off against the dragon. It was never a choice for me. I came through that portal because I felt drawn here by fate. Something needs me here inside this mine. But you were not supposed to be involved. Well, if you're right, we leave this cage alive. After that, who knows? You get that? Get fucked. Uh oh. You can't Quiet. see me. I'm in the dark. <laughs> oh god, there's a bunch of them. Uh so I wonder if my super deals damage to multiple people or just one. Cause I'm really liking the sound of super attacks right now. Get fucked. Come on, come on over. Let me bait you guys over here one by one. This is... <laughs> I hit him in the back. Can't see me. This feels cheap as hell, but I feel like it's also the way they wanted you to deal with this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he saw me. I was hiding, sir. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> Love how he's just right there fucking staring at me and can't see me like <laughs> this is terrible oh my god <laughs> he can literally hit me over here but he can't see me over here gg monsters get fucked the half trial rescuing humans he might be useful and the name is jai you Jai, okay. what, your other half is. what is this? The orcs are using it as a throne room. Then there's a king nearby. Unless we hurry. Is it an orc king though, or like a, a normal king? Like a, a useful to us king, or no? Like to point out, I still have absolutely zero idea how the how to change. Like our magical weapons and shit. Uh, the f I put that that plus one and that fire on our sword. I'm pretty sure, and I haven't seen anyone get caught on fire yet. I like the background art. Oh, sorry, are we being attacked. They're coming over that ledge. Then send them right back. Uh, and you and your brother. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, hi. Yeah, there's a lot of you, actually, huh? Oh, dude. The game is giving us too many supers, I feel like. Ow. Another one. Not a team super though. Just a regular super. Damn it. Oh wait, there might actually be enough here for a team super. Or not. They must despawn after a while or something, because they were definitely here. Where did she go? Oh, she's right there too. I'm just blind. Oh, is the the mage casting? that thing on us that like lowers the amount of damage we take i've already forgotten the name of the move but since we got that little aura, aura on us there for a moment i'm assuming that's what happened is that can we activate that anyhow anyway shield flame arrow coup de gras team attack protection from evil l1 plus triangle kind of forgot about that i'm not gonna lie Hey, hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Getting real close to getting a new bit boss up there, man. Someone just needs to donate either 11 bits or a uh, resub. And you get your face on the stream for a while. How long? I have no idea. <laughs> Depends how long it takes people to, to kill you, I guess. <laughs> Not literally, but you know what I mean. Boss was. 
considering noodle that you're basically the only one that does the uh the bits i'm surprised how little time you spend up there though to be honest i think you just have poor timing plus bits do relatively little honestly too for it compared to like uh uh how do i change again press the l2 button to make an ally massively damage your target l2 l2 oh Okay. Does this use our hero meter or just hero meter in general? What? The 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 stream boss up in the corner? We've talked about it before. You must have just forgotten about it, love. Where when you donate bits or resub or anything like that, you do damage to whoever the current stream boss is. Every time you donate bits, if you are the stream boss, you, you heal a little bit of damage. Oh, uh, okay. I'm pressing L2. Someone do massive damage, please. Ow. <laughs> I, I didn't mean do massive damage to me, guys. God, are we knocked out fucking cold? Oh, shit. He's down, too. Range spell. Uh, he must be invulnerable up there. It's son of a bitch. I would love for one of these guys to drop the hero thing. Refill. Ow. Because a team super would probably do pretty decent damage on the, the big bad. Can we, can we like back attack him or, or no? Like if we were, if we were to, to take her, go hide and then run over. Could we sneak attack him? Son of a bitch, dude. It takes so long to deal any real damage to him. I mean, it is meant to be a uh, a boss fight, I'm sure. So I doubt they want it to be easy. Also, since it appears as if they're never going to start dropping anything, I guess it's probably a decent idea to just go ahead and start doing supers. Uh, unless we get, you know, fucked. I'm trying to do supers, but I can't freaking... Why is it not activating? Excuse me, game. Skills. Team attack, protection from evil, burning hands. Fruit on arm strike. Mystic combination. What? Does R3 only work for the, the team super? Do we need to press something else? I'm sure it said at some point. I'm just an idiot, but... So basically, red guy here just needs to hurry up and get his fucking thing filled. I was blocking! I guess there's no blocking that. The stun. Oh my god, dude. I hope this isn't indicative of how all the boss fights in the game are, because uh, this right now, right here, is a little rough, dude. <laughs> Team Super Charge. Let's fucking go. And it still wasn't enough to kill him. I mean, it did some damage to him, at least. Uh, can we damage him now, please? Game. Oh my god, I hate everything. Just hit the dude. He's so close to dead. Don't let him go up there again. I would have been so mad if Those he went up and started spawning people again. Gauntlets of power. You're the fighter. I'll hold those. Beads of force. They need a gentle touch. That's a ring of jumping. Oh, it's even my size. Oh, that's what we needed before Do we could jump. That? We need a magic ring. <laughs> I see an image. How else would you jump? Crest. I was destined to come here. Game. Maybe something's behind it. Drop a beat of force, okay? Blow the then wall. detonate. Hell yeah! Let's go. The pull just got stronger. You see something now. What is it? Let's just say it's personal. 
then I was wrong. We were all drawn here. It's locked. The arm to release it is up there. R2 is the jump button, excuse me? <laughs> also, <laughs> what? does anyone care to tell me what we're walking on right now? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, who the hell came up with having R2 be jump, man? Okay, whatever, that's fine. Quick platforming section. Uh, thankfully, the, the jump height and arc feels pretty decent at least. I'll give it that. Even if R2 is an awkward Your as hell turn? button to use. It's the mark of the trolls who attack Nesmi. If they're somehow behind this. Get fucked. Do it again. Good job. Smash them rocks with your fist. Ooh, necromancy, my favorite. Come to me. What are these things? No, seriously though, what are these things? They're they're slot, that's their name. I need that health. Did I pick it up? I did, thank god. So wait, are those two skeleton dudes being revived? Or are they like giving up their 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 life force to power the spell that's bringing these dudes to our our dimension here? Health, thank you. Oh, good, another wave. <laughs> Love when people just keep spawning in all the time. Uh, I didn't really need that health. I probably should have given it to someone else, honestly, but. Oh, there we go. Give me that. I want that. Thank you. And die. And then. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I can't move. I'm, like, stunlocked. Excuse me, game. Did I get it? No, I didn't. She is actually, like, really close to dying. Uh... This is not good. Okay, she healed somehow. I don't know if someone dropped a thing, or... If game just cheated for me, but... <laughs> She's got some health back. That's all that matters. I think we're totally meant to just use our team super to get through this shit, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Health out the ass. Let's go. Everybody pick up the things, please. Oh my god. No. The things. Pick them up. Wait, did it not drop three? I could have swore it dropped three. Uh, There it is. It's over here. Okay, yeah, no, they're being brought back to life. That's good. <laughs> I'm sure they won't be a pain in the ass at all. Wait, are they fighting each other? Yes, they are. Oh, are they the ones trapped in the demon stone or whatever? I mean, I could get you the sword, or I could just not. I like that option too. Those were outsiders, creatures from other planes of existence. The female was Gith Yankee, the male Slod. Both races destroy everything in their paths. We're near Cedarleaf. It's a wood elf village. We have to make sure they're safe. I thought she hated wood elves. She's a complicated gal, man. What can, what can I say? It's not too bad so far, man. Like, I'm not hating the game. But I do wish it was more of an adventure game than just a level-based action combat thing, you know? Gauntlets of Overpower. Damages objects using R2 button. Cool, cool. Beads of Force. Damages objects using R2 button. Never would have guessed. 
Ring of jumping. Didn't I just like buy some of these things? Team gold, 16,609. No, so you do just get a shit ton of gold every time. Out of a maximum of 30,000 we could have gotten there? Holy hell, dude. Uh, wait, no, back. Continue. Here we go. I'm just gonna auto buy. Seems fine. More slick. Ring of protection two. Ring of protection three. Okay. What about you? Also going up to ring of protection three. So it really wants us to have a lot of health. How many? Let's go ahead and buy that shit. But then let's go and check our item upgrades. How deep does this go? To five. And I'm just... Okay, yeah. So if we go back, we actually get some money back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still confused on how... The weapons and shit work, though. Because who was it? It was you. And we bought the sword plus one, which it looks like we still have. And then the frost weapon. Huh. I never saw that activate, so I feel like we're missing something, but yeah, whatever. Uh, we probably need to do levels, though, because I don't think the auto does that for us. Can we give her jump, or did she just automatically get that? She must have just automatically got that. That's fine, then. We can't buy anything for level two, because we don't unlock new skills until we're level four. That makes sense, man. D&D wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, does anybody have anything they can unlock though? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well in that case, just go back and, uh, well we need to take a quick break actually, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then when we come back, we'll play uh, I don't know, another half hour-ish of the game. See if we can get through another level or something like that. But anyways, guys, yeah, we're going to go to the break and we'll BRB. Me. She, she told me they had cabbage. I see radish. I see carrot. I see potato. I see a premium fucking melon. But no cabbage. I'm very disappointed in you. I wish I could kick you out of my fucking town. That is, that is not acceptable. Alright, let's get some more people moved in here. Uh, let's get you there. Those guys want, like, some parking. So, like, I would love to give them some parking. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, my streets are going to be all fucked up and I don't even care. It's like, I'm going to put you there. And then, like, I feel like putting someone here... And then, oh no, not you, I already did you. And then Mr. Sean Fuller, you can go like there. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into the road tool. Oh, we can jump. Fancy. And then I'm going to put like a road here and here and then like down here. Why? I don't know. Does that make sense? Probably not. And then just for the hell of it, we're going to like come over here and then go down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking, this layout's fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. It's funny. Which, I don't know the name of it. I don't remember, Nate. So I remember I remember uh, seeing it, like I said, but that's that's it. Beyond that, I do not know. Uh, how do I exit out of here? I forget. I, I just, like, got calls every other time. But yeah, no, I really did. I just saw like the the announcement for it or whatever, and that was that was it basically. Um, so yeah, I kind of meant to bring you like down a little bit farther, TBH. So what if we do like? I guess we could do like that, right? And then just bring it. No, you know what? Just fucking just bring it right down there. Whatever. What do I care, right? Oh, they got like a door out back of their house too? Sorry, you're about to be like right up against somewhere else. Someone else, I mean. That whole door you have in the back? Yeah, it's 
de dead. Like, <laughs> good luck using that again. Hi, stream. Hi, uh, tiny girl. Why are... Where are your parents? Hope you build a wonderful town. I'll try. Hi, stream. Make us a cool town, okay? Stardew Valley? <laughs> Looks interesting. The announcement you saw was Disney meets Stardew Valley. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't watch the whole trailer even. I just watched, like, saw a bit of it. Um, and saw someone saying that it was, like, Kingdom Hearts without the, uh, without the fun parts. The, <laughs> sorry, the Final Fantasy parts. Um, so yeah, I don't really, like I said, I don't really know anything else about it at the moment. Do you remember the name of it? Did you say it and I just forgot? Or missed it or whatever? Because I am curious to see more of it. It's like the uh, the artwork that I saw looked pretty cool, at least. Um, one sec, you looking it up? Okay. Take your time, man. Absolutely no rush. I just realized that one of my timers, well, okay, it might be working. I don't know, whatever. Demi Clark. Hello, Demi. Nice to meet you, stream. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, you're a gossip queen and a housewife. Hope you vote us a safe town to live in. I can try. Um, I hear you're the gossip queen. This weather is for daydreaming. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Good luck building our town. Thank you, man. You seem like a nice little dude. Uh, good luck building our town. You're literally just copying your brother, but whatever. That's fine. You seem you seem nice, too. The Fuller family, apparently they're not home. So we'll have to, we'll have to introduce them later. Hi, Sean Fuller. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope you'll make us a nice place to live. I feel like everybody... In All right, we're back. Had a nice stretch myself, got a drink. I hope you guys did the same. Uh, it's not good for you sitting down for extremely long periods of time. Or at least I've been told. That's what I've been told. I wouldn't really know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but, you know, standing up every once in a while, giving the legs a good stretch. Get, keep that blood flowing. <laughs> it's good for you, I think. Probably. I'm assuming. <laughs> Activate unlockable? Wait, what? What does that mean? Activate unlockable? Oh. Nope, that's not. Gem spark. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when we beat levels, we can, like, Chapter look at three. art and stuff. Attack when did you leave? You in my pocket? <laughs> we just took a short break, man. That's all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, stood up, stretched, did all the did all the normal stuff. That's all. We didn't go anywhere. Go anywhere. Uh, special abilities are two. Coup de gras are one. Super attack is trying. Oh, team supers are three. Regular supers triangle. Okay, that's where I was messing up. I think whenever I was trying to. To use the, the individual supers against a uh, boss guy. Really annoying boss guy, honestly. But whatever. We got there in the end. Through here. How do you know about this place? Because this was my home. A drow that lived Dori with the forest Shanzut. elves? What? Dori Get fucked, elves. Don't let her open that portal. Throw your weapons at the leader. I mean, I can't really throw my weapons at the leader whenever I'm being attacked. Can I even target the leader? Is that her there? Where's the leader? Excuse me? Game? Oh, right there. Ow. 
I can't help but notice that his magic is different now, too. Does he just automatically pick whatever's best for... For, like, the enemy he's fighting? Or does it change based on the level that you're playing? Oh, hi. You guys are back. Does that mean other bro suddenly appeared? Lad Lord, yeah. Ooh, Don't let her get away. Can I have the chests? You know what I want to play? Legend of Zelda. <laughs> That's what I really want to play. Oh no, it's R2 to jump. Why is it, why is it R2 to jump? That is so dumb, dude. I want to talk to whoever the hell decided on what did what, like what the controls for this game were. And just ask them sincerely, what the hell? <laughs> what made you think R2 was the way to go, man? What could possibly possess you to go that route? Get fucked. Uh, up. Thank you. And smash. Hey, gold. I'm assuming that's what that coin purse looking thing was too, just some extra gold. The Are you at least gonna like lower the bridge tree. now that you the elves will want to reach it. So Rekka, you ran off just as I was returning to my old self. I see why you want this village. You need its portal to call your army. Too bad. I'm taking it now, along with that sword. So, what? <laughs> so which one of these guys is the true bad guy? Like, both? Can't we just let them destroy each other? Problem solved? Kill the slot! Okay, so we need to save as many elves as possible. Oh, we need to get them in the portal. Not just, like... Stop them from dying. Can you guys back up, maybe? There we go. I guess the the bead thingy doesn't actually hurt us at all, so it doesn't really matter if we if we run away. Cause like I was thinking, you know, bomb. I need to run the hell away from it, but no, it doesn't seem to actually work that way. Attack! Kind of hard to tell who's who when there's so many people around. Like, I'm having trouble telling who's friendly, who's not so friendly. <laughs> you know? Trying not to murder the, the good folk. Uh, can you break it too? Yes, yes you can. Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. Who needs help the most? Doesn't matter, I'm the closest. Stop getting it. I'm guessing the more we save, the more, like, bonus we get for whatever at the end. Oh, good. More spawn in. Thanks. I'd hate if they just did it. Yeah, something about seeing those chests up there is making me really want to play Ocarina of Time. I don't know which version I want to play, though. If I want to play it on the 3DS, if I want to play it on the uh, original N64 one that I got, or isn't there, there's a PC port. I'm pretty sure that's like 99% done at this point, or if I want to play that one. Oh, wait, no, the PC port, though, was only for the, uh, like the, the developer copy some shit. I forget the exact name of it. Of course, that's that's been a while. Maybe they got it working with the regular release version by now. So that's the only version I have that I can dump. I don't have the, the other one. But I think it'd be fun to play it on a, on PC. Especially if I can get it running with the Steam Deck. That would be awesome. Oh, 
But yeah, it definitely looks like someone just died, which I'm assuming is not good. We probably don't want people to die. <laughs> Generally speaking, you wanna you wanna save the villagers. Uh can one of you guys Nope, it just opens on its own. That works. <laughs> Look, I say we lead them out into like a desert somewhere or something and then just let them go at each other. Smash the rubble? There's rubble? To be smashed? Oh, right there, dude. I'm fucking blind. Ow. Ow. Trying to smash rubble here? I don't... Rug, get off my ass! <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you. There we go. Run, run to safety. <laughs> I don't really know if it's safe here, considering how many uh, trolls slash orcs there are around, but... Of course, they would wait to spawn until we, uh, until we get some of the people out of their, their relatively safe little hidey holes that they had, you know, behind the rubble. I have no idea where we're going. Can't seem to go through there. Oh, we need to smash this rubble now. Okay. That's going to take a while to get used to not running away from the explosions. It's so, like, automatic, you know? Why can I not do my special attack? Is it not shining right now? I'm pressing triangle. I mean, look. <laughs> I know I'm not exactly the brightest, but is it not glow? Oh, it's glowing for her. Like I said, not the brightest, guys. I'm kind of an idiot. Is this our fault? Like, did we set them free? Just by walking into the into that chamber? I mean, look, I don't think we should blame ourselves, guys. I think dicks are going to be dicks, and there's nothing we can really do about it. Okay, now where? Oh, nope, still fighting. Okay. <laughs> Just wave after wave, never ending. Got it. I should have known. Uh, you, you're probably about cool again. I can't even see where I am or what I'm doing. This is one of the worst camera angles I've seen in a game in a while. I don't really know if it's worth saving up the team supers. Honestly, it seems like we should just use our super whenever whenever the super is available to us. Because all the team super seems to do is activate all three of them at once, which, I mean, is nice and all. But at least right now, these guys take enough damage from just the regular super that, like, from one character... So I think it's probably smarter just to activate as soon as we can instead of holding on to it. Seems like one super and a few hits is enough to, to kill. Okay, where's the next wave? You know they're going to spawn in more. Yep. Here they come. like Mr. Uh, Big Sword here isn't getting much love, man. I also kind of hate his super, because it's... I mean, I guess it's technically an AoE, but it's like a right-in-front-of-him AoE. Whereas the other ones kind of do, like, a, a sphere around them. Ooh. You're in a bad spot, lady. 
Never mind. <laughs> She's fine. Get everyone out of here. Mr. Slad is not happy. Everyone run! Run for your lives! Run! Get out! Everybody get out of here! And big boom. And scene. Nope, never mind. It was a spider in a crescent moon. The two patron gods of the drow and the wood elves. That's me. My mother was drow. My father was wood elf. He raised me. And he was down there. So many dead. It's Nesmi once again. We set those creatures free. It's up to us to stop them before more villages are lost. We should seek counsel from my mentor. He is a great wizard. Kelbin is his name. Kelbin. I might have to steal that. So that's what kind of half-elf she is, though. I, whenever they called her half-elf, I, I assumed, you know, half-human, half-elf. I didn't realize that it was fucking uh, half-drow, half-wood-elf. That's neat. Team experience, 2,937. Team supers. Oh, that's a reason right there to do supers, I guess. Get 150 XP every time we do one. I noticed that last time, too. It just didn't, like, click in my mind that it's probably a good idea to uh, to do that. Wait. We sold repost and improved toughness? Does, does the auto buy... Minor global vulnerability. Does it like know what's coming up? So it, it. Hey, thank you so much for five more bits, Mr. Noodle. Got that stream boss down to five, man. I don't know if you have to do another five bits or another six, but I'm getting real close. Anyways, uh. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, I mean, we're gonna keep doing the auto buy because I just don't want to spend the time to, to deal with it. But. I'm a little confused on how it's choosing to purchase upgrades for people. The only thing I can think is that, like, the game knows what the next level is. So it's buying the stuff that's useful for the next level. Robe of scintillating colors. Colorful robe enhanced with strong protection magic. That's cool. And then I'm assuming we haven't gone up in a level yet. I imagine it would have. Oh, no, we did. We're level four. Oh, that's what it was buying. He didn't have her post yet. Okay, okay, okay. So it does automatically buy abilities for us as well. Wow, okay, so that, that auto buy just does everything. <laughs> I wonder if you can min-max it, though, like if it's ever worth not doing the auto buy or if the, uh, the pre-generated stuff is good enough. And we should always just kind of be doing that. Please, game. Like, look at the frame rate, man. Whenever we get here, you can see, like, the spinning things in the background. If I hit anything, no, yes, something, please. <laughs> right there, see? Now it's going just fine. Everything's spinning normal at a normal frame rate. But for some reason, when we get onto that screen, that one specific screen, the frame rate just dies completely and starts eating your inputs and shit. It's terrible. Uh, I have no idea how many chapters there are, but I think we're pretty much done for the night. I don't know how long the next chapter is going to be, and I don't want to end up getting stuck on a lot of extra time. But I do, I guess, want to just look at these unlockable Jai, things. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's lore. It. Okay. You want to console me? Let's slaughter those two things. That'll make me feel a whole lot better. Are you sure your father was killed? I saw him. Drow aren't supposed to live among wood elves. And they aren't supposed to fall in love with them. Drow are independent. They're killers. They live below ground, in the Underdark. My mother was part of a raid on the surface. She was injured and got separated from her group. My father found her and cared for her and eventually brought her back to Cedarleaf. When I was little, the village was attacked by giants. My mother fought beside the Wood Elves. She died, protecting her friends. 
because they weren't strong enough to protect themselves. That's what you get for making friends. Kinda cold. I'm surprised it doesn't like uh, show those lore bits just automatically. Like this concept art, you know, I, I get it not showing that, but that was just straight up part of the story, man. You know? So what are the what are the other ones? I guess it'd be better to start at chapter one. Introduction. Okay, we, we watched that. That's what I restarted the game for. Then the concept art, we don't need to see that. Chapter two though. That's just concept art, and then chapter three is what we just watched. Okay. I noticed there's a little like on this one, there's a there's a blinking red gem underneath the world map there. Is that just the chapter we have selected? Yes, okay. I didn't know if that was some way related to the unlockables or if that's the chapter we have selected. It's the chapter we have selected. Which means that this game's probably relatively short then. Assuming all those empty gem spots are the other chapters. We play chapter one, two, and three. This would be four. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chapters. Each one only takes, what, like a half hour or something like that? It doesn't seem that bad. It seems relatively short. But I don't know about the way the combat and stuff works in the game, man. It's not... It's okay. Don't get me wrong. I just... I guess I was just expecting something a little more D&D-esque and a little less generic brawler action game thing with a terrible camera. <laughs> but it's not terrible. It's not bad. Considering I probably paid next to nothing for it, I can't be mad. But anyways, guys, that is, like I said, all the time I have for tonight. I don't know how long the next chapter is going to be, and I don't want to end up getting stuck on here till like 3 in the morning, or, or 3 in the morning, like 4 in the morning or something ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit tonight. I do appreciate it, as always. It's nice uh, catching up with y'all, talking to you for a little bit. Today is Tuesday, so tomorrow we'll be playing a little bit of Sly Cooper, the Thievius Raccoonus. That's the game we're currently trying to complete. If you want to influence the games we're trying to complete, don't forget to vote. You can do that using the uh, reward request things here on Twitch, using your Twitch points, channel points, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't cost any actual money. It's just stuff that you get for being here in stream. And you can vote using those points on things. Whatever you vote for increases the likelihood that that will be picked whenever we roll. You can vote on games for us to try out from the PS2 gauntlet list. Those are the uh, collection list. Those are the ones in green. Uh, the ones in gray are the ones we don't own. You can vote on those too, but that'll just uh, be saved. Those votes will be saved for either A, whenever we get the game, or B, uh, to buy the game. Um, and then if you go down, so it's a spreadsheet, the PS2 collection list is. So if you go to the other tab on there, there's one for games to complete. The ones in green there are what we are going to be rolling on the next time we roll. So that'll be after we finish up Sly Cooper. Uh, but yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you next time. As always, be kind to each other, and bye-bye. It's you again. Yes, it is.